First thing, Coach, uh, I noticed today during practice you uh, got up on the scoreboard there to get a better view of the game or a better view of the practice. What was, uh, what was the thought process behind that, and are you scared of heights? Am I scared of what? Heights. <laughs> of heights? I don't prefer heights. Uh, that's just something I kind of do annually, to be honest with you. It's, uh, I mean, I could get into the why, but it's really, then it puts it about me. This isn't about me. I just, it's a thankless job. Nobody, nobody tells the video guy. They never walk by his office and say, hey, great job today. They just say, hey, play number four is missing. And, you know, there's wind howling up there and, you know what I mean? And so, you know, you go up there and have some conversation. And now moving on to the game this Sunday, uh, the Argonauts will have that celebration before the game. Does that add maybe a little more motivation uh, to seeing that? Say that one more time, I'm sorry. Uh, the Argonauts will be celebrating the uh, Grey Cup win from mm. last year mm -hmm. um, before the game. Is that going to add a little, maybe a little more fire before that game? No. I mean, they earned it. They can, they can do what they want and enjoy it. At the end of the day, they're going to kick the ball off. And, you know, we're focused on the football game, uh, not all the extracurricular. That's just uh, it's their home opener. Let them enjoy, and then let's play ball. Uh, back to that first question, uh, what job haven't you done here? I have seen you run water out. I have seen you shovel the snow here. I have seen you do next to everything, um, I guess, apart from maybe, I don't know. I've seen you carry blocking pads. Why is it important for you to kind of be involved in kind of every single detail? And it's not like you do it every day, but every yeah. so often you do different things. I think it's just re real clean and simple. It's just we're a team. And so sometimes, you know, we're going to pick up the equipment for the equipment people. That's just what we do. It's, it's not a pat on the back. We're not doing this for, for a press or for whatever. This is just what we do around here. And, you know, it's, yeah, it's everybody's job, but we're always in this together. Uh, when you win, everybody's happy. Uh, and when you're on the other side of it, you know, people have down weeks. That's just what it is. Everybody's in it invested the same. They just have different roles. So uh, there's, no, there's no role beneath me or anybody else. Uh, and just one on James Butler, uh, what, how excited are you and Tommy about what he can potentially bring to the offense as the, as the season goes on and mm -hmm. how are you able to use him, not just obviously as a running back, but maybe push him out wide and, and get him involved more in, in passing game other than just like, you know, he sweeps around in a, in a pass out and, and he runs like actually getting part of the, uh, the, the formations. Yeah, well, I think when you have a, a skill set like his, you, you want to try to take advantage of it the best that you can. It, every game plan doesn't always present that uh, based off of what the other defense is giving you, but there are certain, certain things that will force the issue on, and that's just the, the luxury we're kind of afforded with him. But, you know, he, he's, here to, he's here to run the football. He just has a unique skill set that uh, he can do a lot with it after catching it. We'll see how that works out this week and then moving forward. But, yeah, there's always excitement. There was excitement. That was part of the draw of bringing him in here and making him a Tiger Cat. Coach, the Argos have had the first week off. That was their bye week. Do you see that as an advantage for them? You'd have to ask them. You know, I don't I, – I usually – you've been around long enough, Rick. I just kind of reserve comment about other teams and, and how they view it. Uh, you know, there's, you know, they're obviously at least got a little bit of film on us this year and not going off the pass. So, you know, that's really a better question for them. Next year when the schedule is drawn up, would you like to have week one off? Would I like to have week one off? Uh, no. You just want to get right to it? I want to play. Speaking, Training camp, let's play. Speaking of film, Chad Kelly, what do you expect from him? What, what uh, do you like about his game? What do you think you can take advantage of? What are his pros and cons? Well, you can't deny he's, he is a champion, and he's confident. He's not afraid to make plays when things break down. Uh, you got to be on your toes that way. He appears to be able to make uh, the majority of all the throws and make them well. I think he has a decent grasp of their offense, and, I, and there's going to be I think there's going to be new wrinkles that we're unprepared for, uh, based off of just his skill set and the way Ryan sees best uh, way to use it. So. Um, you know, we'll, we'll better know as the game unfolds kind of what their plan is. Uh, going in, we can only go off of what we've seen on tape and off of times when he just obviously wasn't the starter. From a coaching perspective, when you don't have a book on a guy as extensive as, you know, a veteran quarterback, as a coach, are you, does that uh, jive you more? Are you amped for that to try to unlock what he can and can't do? It's football. I'm amped for every game. Like, <laughs> like. There's, you know, every now and again, there's some added things or whatever else may get an individual going. But, you know, like, you know, Lancaster used to always say, you know, 
I love the games, you know, practice is kind of in the way. And so yeah, I'm always looking forward to the game. So I don't, I don't see it as a more amped up situation. Uh, every week, every team's good. I think there's a lot of parity in this league right now. Everybody's a lot better on paper. Some teams are 1-0, and some teams are 0-1, and they're still figuring out their football team. So, you know, I think every week you can be beat, but I think every week uh, anybody can win.